Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about the error log, uh, which is related to that 20 most common errors um, handout that I gave you in class. You have a orange, salmon-y color, peachy colored handout, or a yellow handout. I've been using different colors. Um, but I wanted to remind you about how to fill out the error log. So you'll be doing a couple of error logs this semester, um, mostly related to the first couple of writing assignments, the memoir, and probably the academic summary. And then after that, I won't assign them anymore. And the reason I have you do these error logs is because I want you to learn about your own errors, the pattern of errors you make, um, the concepts, uh, rules related to the errors that you're making, and also how to correct the errors you're making. Um, and so this is how I do it. As you guys know, I've covered this a little bit in class here and there, but I have um, an example pretend draft in front of you, and I mark errors with the numbers at the end of the line. What you won't find in your draft are the circles. So for the purpose of this video, I've circled where the number 20 is up here in the first, where you see the first error and the 17 is here. Here's the four, here's the three, here's the four, here's the one. I'm just showing you this very quickly because I want to remind you that the numbers at the end of the line tell you that the, the error is in the line that you're looking at. It is not below. Um, the thing that gets confusing for some people is that, you know, they can't correct the 20 and the 17, perhaps, unless they read the entire sentence, which isn't in this line. It, it ends down here. So make sure that you are reading up or down to get the context of the entire sentence. It also gets confusing for you to know, is the error in this part of the sentence that starts up here, or is it in this part of the sentence that ends down here? So this is a part of the exercise that you have to be able to identify your own errors. And I'm giving you a clue by giving you those numbers and then that handout where you decode the numbers. But in this video, you see I'm identifying them for you so that it's easier to see, yes, indeed, that error is in the line that Beth has marked the number at the end of. So um, let's see here. Um, anything else I need to say about this? No. I would read through this paragraph, however, because it's my reasoning for correcting errors for you this way. I don't find it useful for you um, to read the sentences that I would write for you because then you won't understand why they're being fixed. So in this way, you're learning more about grammar than maybe you have in, in other classes. So second part of um, finishing the error log after you identify the errors in your draft is to actually fill out the error log. And you guys can see... Uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't take that error log out of the frame. Um, let me just pull this over a little and see if I can get both of these in. Cool, that's good enough. So you guys notice that for the first line of the error log, I am correcting three errors because the number 20 was here, the number 17 was here, and then this number four is also in that sentence. So it is possible for you to do your homework for the memoir to correct eight errors um, by correcting, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have to correct one more error, and I'm only dealing with a couple of sentences here. I hope you guys see what I'm saying. I'm not saying you have to copy down eight sentences. I'm saying you have to correct eight errors. My first sentence that has errors has three. So I copy down the sentence as I found it in the draft. I want to retain the mistakes. This is really important because in rewriting the mistakes, you're going to become more aware of the mistake that you made. Then in the next column, I'm rewriting the whole sentence and showing how I make the changes to fix it. And I forgot to circle the last change, but I fixed errors to errors, and I took away the comma, and I changed the your contraction to the possessive pronoun your. And then in the last column, you see that I've tried to explain why I needed to make those changes. And instead of copying information from websites that give me the information about these grammatical or mechanical errors, I'm trying to put it in my own words because it helps me to learn the error, learn the rule, learn why things need to be fixed, etc. So I just repeat the process each time. Incorrect sentence or the sentence with the errors in it, the corrected sentence with my errors um, fixed, and where's the other number four? There's a four, a three, and a four. Oh, I think I copied that down wrong. This first four is not there. So I'm just fixing the three and the four here. Um, so actually, I have two more errors to fix, not just one, because um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six errors. And then again, I explain why did I need to fix those errors. I have a homophone. I have um, 
a word that I don't need. It's that, that word that is, it's making my sentence too wordy. So I'm pulling that number four, that wrong word out. And then the last line, same thing. I circle where I fix it. I did not have the comma here because I want to retain the mistake. And then I explain how I fixed it, why I fixed it. So the, the purpose of the error log is for you to learn the grammar, essentially. And what it will help you to do um, is to become aware of all of the things I've already mentioned in the video. So if you have questions about the error log, don't hesitate to email me or ask me in class. And the last thing I want to show you is I'm in, in a D2L section that may not be yours, but looks like yours. You do have on your content page a 20 most common errors page. Right now you will see that I've given you the link to find the handout so that if you lose your copy, it is online. And it will download here in just a second, just taking a few moments. So there's the list to help you decode your draft. And then if you need an extra copy of the air log, it is here as well. You can print it or you can handwrite it on a separate piece of paper and just follow the four column um, setup that is here. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you is at the top, you should record which draft you're making air corrections in. And then this most common errors, you might for the memoir, for instance, um, look at the air numbers that are repeating in your draft. Do you have a lot of 12s? Do you have a lot of 3s? A lot of 8s? A lot of 4s? A lot of 10s? Whatever it happens to be. But the ones that keep repeating themselves, try to keep track of those because those might be the ones that continue to show up in future essays. And then you're, you're already starting to record in your mind, oh my gosh, I typically make these kinds of errors. And now you're becoming aware of the kinds of errors you make so that when you proofread your writing in the future, you know what kinds of errors to look for for yourself when you don't have someone like a teacher or a mentor or an editor to help you with um, the, the precision of your sentences. All right. I hope you guys have a nice um, weekend, and I will see you in class.